Business Beat. Welcome to Get Local with Comcast Business Update. I'm Mary Caracoli, and here's a look at today's business and consumer news. Has the time come for you to get some help managing your money? Well, today we're looking at what you need to know before you hire a financial planner. Here to help us is Tom Meyer, president of Meyer Capital Group. Tom, it's great to have you here, and one of the reasons you are here is because you do the kind of financial advising that is fee only. And explain what that is and why that's so important. Okay, as a registered investment advisor, we are basically what's known as a fiduciary, meaning that we have to disclose all conflicts and all bias at the point of sale. We are always in our client's corner 100% of the time because we are only selling service, not a product. So you are not, if I come in as your client, you're not making a profit on some of the products that you're putting in my portfolio. No. None, zero. But in a brokerage account, and I think all so many of us who've had brokerage accounts over the years know that they are making basically a commission on everything that they buy and sell for us. Well, a lot of times the client doesn't know that. And, and as a broker, see, they are basically a broker that uh, a brokers look at it as a suitability not as a fiduciary. Therefore, they do not have to disclose any conflict of interest at the point of sale. And a lot of times, if you're buying a loaded mutual funds fund, for instance, the uh, disclosure of a 5% load is not disclosed anywhere in black and white. And let's explain to our viewers why that's important to know about that disclosure. Well, what does that mean in it, plain English? Well, basically, if you buy a $20,000 loaded fund, a share, through a broker, you're paying a $1,000 commission. So your net investment is $19,000. And most people don't, they've lost money before they've even started. Oh, they're 5% in the hole. Now, again, remember, if the markets are doing 20% a year, guess what? Nobody cared. But when you're doing maybe 5 to 7% a year, you've given up a whole year's worth of return in one fell swoop to the broker. And there's not that kind of disclosure. So when I'm hiring a planner, I want somebody who is fee only, not fee based. They sound very similar, but there is a difference. Fee only is what you've talked about. I'm either going to pay you by the hour or a percentage of my all the assets that you manage on a regular basis, 1% of it. That is correct. It, it, the average fees for growth portfolios are 1%. Um, paid out quarterly. Uh, if it's $100,000, that would be $250 a quarter. And that is it. Now, granted, there are internal fees if you go into a mutual fund or if you go into an exchange traded funds. There are also internal fees on top of that. However, 100% of your money goes to work for you unlike if you're buying a front-end loaded fund. Now let's talk about once I've decided I found a fee-only advisor that uh, it basically fits my needs. There's somebody, if, if I'm high net worth, they, they deal with high net worth. If I'm middle class, they know how to deal with the, the, the issues that are coming my way. So I found somebody who is tailored to my needs. Now there's a, the chance for me to have them be discretionary or not. What is the difference between that? Great question. Most advisors slash financial planners are what is known as discretionary power, meaning that they can rebalance, they can buy, they can sell without first notifying you. Now, on one hand, I would say, boy, that's giving them a lot of power and mm -hmm. they could be churning things and, and really, uh, you know, uh, taking advantage of the fact they have all this power, but you say there's another way I should be looking at this. Well, sure. Let's let's look at a scenario where something comes out, news on a stock or whatever, and all of a sudden it's plummeting or it's even going up when, on the positive side. Well, guess what? They want to have the power to be able to act instantaneously, in, instantaneously without having to try and call you first. And or wait till I get back from vacation. Well, exactly, or, yeah. and that causes a lot of problems. However, on a non-discretionary basis, which we do offer. It is a great way to get to know that advisor, to know their methodology and their process. And it, and it really starts, it's a great way to gain trust. That's a good way to look at it. Is, is if you're getting started in this process, a, a great way to get your feet wet. This way you're still empowered. You may miss some opportunities, but you're getting to know that person. And as you uh, get comfortable with their decision making on your behalf, you may change your mind. That's right. And, and I'll tell you what, we play the odds because 80% of the time after a year, they go back and say, okay, I understand you can have discretionary power. It's a great way to forge a relationship. And, and the key is a long-term relationship is what you're looking Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Yeah. And go through a full market cycle. Yeah. All right, Tom, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining Thanks, me. Mary. And this has been Get Local with Comcast. I'm CNA's Mary Caracoli. Tune in again tomorrow for your next update of Business on Demand. CN8 Money Matters Today with Mary Caracoli. The business show that focuses on you. Giving you tips to make your nest egg work better for you. CN8 Money Matters Today with Mary Caracoli. Weeknights, 8 p.m. Eastern, only on CN8.